guys, it's still Tuesday, and um, I was about to take a nap, which is why I'm wearing a robe. But um, I was also catching up on my YouTube videos, and I was watching the Philip DeFranco show because he is one of my favorite people to watch on YouTube because he's the only actual news I really get. And he touched on a certain point that I kind of want to bring up. It's like the fact that I, our whole world seems to be like crumbling around us. I'm sorry if you can hear traffic in the background, my window is open. But, um, yeah, the world seems to be kind of crumbling around us. And I don't know if it's just because there's a lack of good people or what all is going on, but it seems to me that in recent times you've been hearing about so many more, like, crazy weather things, like typhoons and uh, tornadoes and hurricanes and, you know, severe, severe thunderstorms. And even in the winter, it, like, seems to snow more. Um, I know it's not all about global warming and Mother Nature, but there's also seeming to be, like, a lot of political um, unrest in almost every country. Um, America's economy is going to crap. There's the crazy riots in London. There's the um, upheaval in Libya, and people are getting killed. There's all sorts of wars and violence everywhere. And plus, you know, everyone is just protesting, and there's not enough food, and there's not enough money for people to survive. And it's kind of concerning me that, you know, our whole world seems to be kind of just crumbling down around us, and it makes me really sad because I feel like, you know how like when you're a little kid your parents give you all these warnings, you better clean your room or else you'll get in trouble and then you're just like okay yeah yeah yeah, but then like they actually get really upset with you and they start yelling and then everyone just gets upset. And then eventually you know you clean your room and everything's better again. I feel like we're at that point where you know we've had lots and lots of warnings about like who needs to be paying money for what and what funds need to be cut and who needs to be helped. But we're still kind of like hesitant to do it because we don't really feel like it. I mean, there are people out there with like lots and lots of money and they don't, they don't share it. They don't give it to the people that need it. I mean, so I just feel like there's, it's, there's something building and there's, Something that I don't, I'm not trying to like predict the apocalypse, but I feel like there's something building. Like the parent is about the parent being like the whole entire world that's going to like really blow up here soon. Like, and then everyone's going to freak out and be crying and upset, and people are going to die. And I feel I can, I'm not trying to be all like doom and gloom, but. I can kind of feel it happening and it scares me. I feel like there just aren't enough good people in the world anymore and I don't know what to do. I mean, I try to be as good of a person as I can be, but honestly, I, I don't know what to do, guys, and it's really concerning to me. I feel like, I, I can, it's like the calm before the storm, like, I can hear thunder rumbling in the distance, and I know that there's going to be a huge storm here soon. And it's just going to be it's going to be like a catastrophe. It's, there are going to be people that are going to die, and there are people that are going to like take advantage of it. And I don't know. I feel like it's going to happen here in the U.S. too. I feel like we're going to have something that happens, and it scares me. And I don't know what you guys think, but do you guys feel that too? Like that unrest in the world, like something is about to happen that's going to be really, really big and really, really crazy and like we're going to have to pay for all of the greed that, you know, how greedy we are as a people, like as a society, because it's just like there's not enough good people in the world anymore. And yeah, I don't know, what do you guys think? It's kind of scaring me. And it's not it's not a happy feeling, I promise. I mean, I'm I've never been a religious person, so I don't really believe in the whole do it because you're gonna go to heaven type thing. But 
I have read up on Buddhism, which is kind of, you know, the, the um, like, oh crap, I can't remember the word, the, like, belief system that I find applies most to my life. And according to Buddhism, right before the next person who bring peace comes, there will, the world will get, like, worse and worse and worse, and then almost crumble, and then there will be someone that comes and brings peace again. And I feel like we're, we're getting there, we're getting really close, there's, like, people that are dying and starving and not enough, like, supplies to keep everyone, like, together and calm and happy. There are very few happy people in the world anymore. Because depression, for one thing, is, like, the most common mental illness out there. Even more common than ADHD, which, like, every other kid nowadays has. Totally disagree with that, by the way. But it scares me. There's just so much going on and so much bad that there needs to be more good. And I don't know who all watches these and who all sees them, but I feel like... If you're someone that can do anything, if you're someone, I don't even know, maybe you're just middle class, maybe you have some money, maybe you have a little bit of spare time, you know, turn off the TV and go help someone or something, anything, donate, donate a couple dollars to a charity, I, just, it doesn't have to be a lot, I'm not asking you to like pay ten dollars a day to help starving children in Africa, I'm just saying, you know, somebody needs to do something, and I'm trying, I I'm only 17. I can't really do much with my own life right now. I mean, I'm not in exactly a good financial position to, like, be donating to charity or anything. I mean, but some, some people need to do something. I mean, we're selfish people. We're very, very selfish. And... You know, we need to get over ourselves. We need to get over our need for things. I mean, that's another thing Buddhism has taught me, is that all unhappiness in the world comes from an ideal attachment to things. So, like, if you put too much value in something, if you are too attached to something, like a relationship, a want for a relationship, your material possessions, your money, you know, if you're too attached to them then that will make you unhappy because you, because when you're attached to them, you have this idea that if you keep them and keep them together and you, like, almost hoard them or you, like, yearn for them so much, like, yearn for money, yearn for drugs, yearn for, you know, love, it will cause you great unhappiness. And that's, like, what causes all of the, all of the, um, sadness in the world is the, like, is the <laughs> is the um unreasonable yearning for things like if everyone just was a little bit selfless gave a little bit that they don't need to someone who needs it then can you imagine how much better this world could be and now I, I'm probably preaching to the choir here I'm probably you know telling you all something you all know telling you all you know what you've already heard what you really don't want to hear but it's really concerning me, and I really, I really would kill to, like, be able to do something, anything to help. And it just kills me that I don't, I feel like I can't right now. I feel kind of helpless in that respect. So, please, I'm just calling out to anyone, everyone who will see this, who will, like, hear me on this. We need to help fix this world a little bit. And... I, everyone says you can't do it alone, but if everyone is trying to do it alone, then just stand together and do it together. That's what I have to say. And so, I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know what to do. Sorry to be all doom and gloom, but it was just really, really bothering me, and it scares me. So, I guess I'll talk to you later. I'll be happier again. So, thanks guys. I love you all. Please, please help people. Please. Spread the love, not the hate.
Because remember, one thing I've learned from all of my years in all of my 17 years here on this earth is that hatred and violence only spreads more hatred and violence. You can only stop it by love. Okay? It sounds so cliche, but it's true. You just love someone, you love something, and it gets better. It always gets better. Okay? I love you guys. Please help someone. Okay? Even if it's just a little thing. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.